Cloak and Dagger is a new Android vulnerability that has been discovered by computer scientists or at the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta. In today's video, let me explain what this is all about and how you can stay safe. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get to it. Usually, malware uses some kind of security vulnerability in Android to infect devices. In these cases, Google patches these vulnerabilities and all's well and good. But this time around, with Cloak & Dagger, things are a tad bit more complex. Why? Because this particular exploit does not use holes in Android security, but is rather a result of how Android actually works. Now, when an app is installed from the Play Store, uh, one special permission called draw on top could be provided by default. It would not even be mentioned in the permissions list that you see when you install the app. So you don't even have to grant the app these permissions or rather this permission. So what is draw on top? It's the permission to well draw on top of other apps. Like for example, Facebook Messenger with its chat heads draws on top of all other apps. So say you're checking your email, you could still get a chat you know, get your chat, get a chat head pop up. Now using this draw on top feature, the end user could be tricked into enabling bind accessibility service. So basically you, you get shown fake screens and get tricked into thinking you're doing something innocent, like kicking, clicking an okay prompt. Well, in reality, you are enabling bind accessibility service. Now this service is present to help users with disability control the device with something like voice prompts. Exploiting it, a malicious app can take control of your device, steal your sensitive information like two-step authentication codes, banking information, and more. Now, given that both these services are in holes in Android security for Google to plug, and both are legitimate parts of Android, stopping Cloak & Dagger with just a security patch is gonna be an issue. Now, Google will be issuing fixes in the form of an update, that is, the Android O update. But given that even as of today, only about 7% of the devices are currently running Nougat, even after almost a year of its launch, this is not really a viable way to keep devices safe. So what can we as end users do, do to stay safe? Well, we've all been taught to download apps only from the Play Store and that would keep you safe, but that just won't cut it here because a malicious app with cloak and dagger could actually end up on the play store since it's not really you know doing anything illegal so we'd have to go the extra mile download apps or games only from reputed developers and then follow these instructions depending on your android version to see which apps have these permissions and disable and uninstall any suspicious apps so that's it guys i came across this today while taking some time of working on the galaxy s8 review which should be dropping next week I felt it was important enough to create awareness amongst our viewers. So if you want to help spread the message, do share this video. But if you didn't like the video, you can always go ahead, vote it down. If you did like it, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below. If you have already subscribed, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4 Retech. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.